Hey everybody, Flash Pilot here. I'm actually doing a little bit of cooking in the kitchen today. Look at that wonderful stew I'm making. Nice, thick, and hearty. It's a chicken vegetable. It's got everything in the world in there cooking right now. Nice eight-quart pot, so it'll feed a lot of people. But more importantly, I've got something else cooking over here. It's a Coleman 228. And uh, right now I'm actually just... Uh, Adding some broth to it, as you can see, we'll ladle up some broth, some nice hot broth for it. Uh, and um, this is actually a pro. Oops, just steamed up the whole lens, didn't I? <laughs> well, this is a process that uh, was given to me by uh, Father of Three. Uh, Ed was nice enough to give me that uh, recipe. And what we're doing here is we're boiling the uh, lantern. I've already done the tank side because it was full of wasps and all kinds of other corrosion. But um, you can see how dark that broth has become. And what we're using here is uh, just regular old Arm & Hammer Super Washing Soda. And uh, we use two parts of that and one part regular dishwashing detergent. And actually uh, this was Nevada Ed's recipe. It was passed on to me. Thank, thank, thank you to both of the Ed's. And if you notice, I am cooking dinner with a top on, or a lid on the top of the pan so I don't get any type of cross ventilation. I'm sure a lot of us actually do enjoy kerosene and CF fumes, but probably not in our cooking. So anyways, we'll ladle up a little bit more here. And I'll tell you, I should have taken a picture of before so I could show you what it looks like now. It just looks like 100% better. But uh, thanks to CCF and everybody else out there, I've got some great tips for not only cooking, but also cooking with Coleman. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.